More than a quarter of the world's population live relatively close to the sea, putting them at direct risk from rising levels and global temperatures. And the situation is expected to become even more dire over the next 35 years. Researchers estimate 1.9 billion inhabitants currently live in areas less than 330 feet, 100 meters, above the current sea level. By 2050 this number is set to reach to 2.4 billion, while populations living lower than 16 feet, 5 meters, will reach 500 million people, more than previously predicted. All two university researchers said many of these people will need to adapt their livelihoods to changing climate. This study found that while population and wealth concentrate by the sea, food must be grown further away from where people live. Highlands and mountain areas will become increasingly important from food production point of view, but also very vulnerable to changes in climate. Over the past century crops have grown mostly in areas away from where the majority people live, and the number of crops being grown on the coast has also decreased. This will most probably continue in the future, said Professor Olivares, researcher on the project. Even though people and wealth continue to accumulate near the coast, the growth of populations is even faster in inland and mountainous areas, the study reveals. This prediction contradicts existing studies. In the future, the world will be also less diverse in terms of urbanization and economic output, it said. In its most recent assessment of climate change, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change warned that up to 187 million people could be displaced by sea level rise and erosion by 2100 while the number of people suffering flooding on an annual basis will reach between 170 and 260 million. However, the new study suggests the numbers of people affected could be far higher than this. They estimate that more than 500 million people will live on land less than 16 feet, 5 meters, above current sea levels. To perform the analysis, researchers used several global data sets including five clusters climate, population, agriculture, economy, and impact on environment. If the West Antarctic ice sheet was to melt in response to increasing global temperatures, sea levels could swamp coastal towns and cities around the world, a study earlier this year showed. Scottish researchers plotted how the ice sheet is expected to respond to global warming. In particular, they claim that loss of ice in West Antarctica caused by a warming ocean could raise sea levels by a staggering 10 feet, 3 meters. However, other research published in February this year showed that sea levels are rising more slowly than expected, because the planet's continents have soaked up and stored 3.2 trillion tons of water in soils, lakes and underground aquifers, according to NASA. Idyllic islands and bustling cities such as Venice and Miami may be spared from rising sea levels in the near future because parched land is absorbing some of the water released by melting glaciers, it said.